Today's project, we're going to be looking at the ashtray that's used in the center console 60 through 64. This one doesn't look too bad. And I'm sure you've all had the problem when you open it up and find the inside is pretty poor. So today we're going to look at you know, a fairly inexpensive and reasonably quick way to do a reasonably good job of restoration. So here I have a spare console that is loose and out of the car. It makes my demonstration a little bit easier. 60 through 63, the ashtray will be located in the center of the console. 64, it's offset to allow for the console shifter. This is a 64. If you had a 64 with a manual transmission, of course you wouldn't have the shifter, and you would have a 1963 style console with the ashtray back in the center. Removal of the ashtray is fairly straightforward. You just open the slider and that will expose the horrors within because generally you're going to find corrosion and neglect and you really can't leave a restored car like that Here's a better view of the corrosion that you're likely to encounter. And this one's not as bad as most of them. To remove the ashtray, there are four Phillips screws that you have to remove, and then the ashtray can lift out. If your car's been worked on before, it's a good chance that they didn't replace the screws because you can just push the ashtray back in and it'll, it'll stay reasonably well. With the four Phillips head screws removed, you can just lift out and slide back. And there is your ashtray. Now this is a 64, and if you'll notice, there are uh, mounting tabs already cast into the console. But this is a 63, no mounting tabs. So what they did was they used four pieces of metal and uh, the four screws, and it's really much more difficult to install. Here are three of the four brackets that I was telling you about. These are almost always missing. Now, they're not that hard to make your own, but that's what you need if you're going to secure the ashtray back in the console. I'll point out a difference here. Some consoles had <clears throat> a cigar lighter in them. Some did not. I'm thinking <clears throat> I'm thinking that prior to 63 they included the cigarette lighter and at the 63 and 4 they went to this style. I've removed the ashtray here. This is the 64 style. 
and you can see that there's no hole for a cigarette lighter. With the ashtray cup removed, the 6364 style, you can see it does not have the hole for the cigarette lighter. Whereas the earlier style and you can also see that the ashtray cups are slightly different. The early style is just somewhat normal. Whereas the older style has this ear So now that you have the ashtray removed, you can remove the cup. It just pushes right out. And you can see the horror. So my next step is to go to a grit blaster. You can't really wire brush it because you're just not going to be able to get in there. And being a cup shaped thing, Whatever you blast in there wants to blast right back out. But it takes just a few minutes with the grip blaster and you can knock the corrosion off. If the under section is not too bad, really you can stop there and just polish the chrome. But, you can see this is pretty gruesome, so this is going to require disassembly. The top bezel is secured to the base. There, see them? These upsets. And along the front, and along the other side. And it's easy to pry these apart. When you do that, You'll end up with this. Here's your bottom piece. The slider is right out of it. And now you can take this over to your grit blaster. And the top piece, you just take it over to your buffer or your and your method of polishing and waxing. I generally do it by hand. And then you can continue. This is what I use for painting the base and the cup of the ashtray. Eastwood Reflective Aluminum. Painting the base is not too difficult. And you know, it comes out decent. Certainly, it looks a whole lot better than one of these gruesome things. Here's your top pieces after just washing, polishing, and waxing. And this one is the tricky part. This is the cup after grit blasting and then painting with Eastwood aluminum. Getting the paint Inside of that is fairly tricky because it wants to bounce back. I think if you go very slowly with light coats and just a quick little spurt of paint, it seems to work for me. And once you reattach the top bezel, you know, you might use an RTV or a JV weld. It's not going to be under an awful lot of load, so it doesn't need anything really strong and special. Here is your ashtray ready to go back in. <clears throat> Here's a 62 console. 60 through 62 will be the same. Uh, you can see that the 
uh, ashtray does have a lighter in it and you can see that the console with the master power window switch position means the ashtray actually goes in backwards as compared to 6364 which is no big deal it just means that the slider instead of front to back is back to front but that would probably explain why 63 and 4 doesn't have the lighter.